Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the difference of using the FaceTime HD camera that's built into my Mac versus using a professional uh, webcam, I guess you could say. It is the Logitech uh, C920S. Really, the only difference between the S and the one that doesn't have an S is that um, the S has a little security thing that flips over top of the camera to block it when you're not using your camera. Uh, otherwise, it's just a Logitech C920. Uh, and it's probably like, I don't know, $15, $20 more to get the S. So if you're looking for a good camera, I highly recommend the Logitech C920. You're going to see why here in just a minute. Um, but you don't necessarily need the one with the S on the end. I guess that's the point I was trying to make. But uh, let's take a look really quickly at why you would want to use something other than the built-in camera that comes on your laptop uh, or really any computer. Now, if you're on a new iMac, as in like a 2018 or newer iMac, they do have a much better webcam. It's still not up to par, in my opinion, as the C920, but uh, it, it comes a whole lot closer. But if you're on pretty much anything, MacBook, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, pretty much any PC that has a built-in web camera on it. Um, nothing really beats having a much more decent camera like the Logitech C920. All right, so here we are inside of Zoom, and uh, we're just going to go down here to the video settings. Now, as you can see, this actually looks halfway decent here with the built-in webcam. But now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the HD Pro webcam C920 and switch to that. All right, so um, not too much better, right? Like, um, it actually almost doesn't look nearly as good, but the skin tones are a little bit truer to, to my natural skin tone. Uh, however, everything looks kind of fuzzy, so you're probably thinking right now, hey, the uh, built-in webcam looked a whole lot better than that. Um, but hold on just a second. If we go into the video settings, we'll notice that Enable HD is not turned on. So let's go ahead and turn that on now. Okay, and now let's jump back out of here and oh, wow. Okay, now there's a really big difference between the, C, uh, the C920 Logitech versus the built-in. So we'll just go ahead and change back over to the FaceTime camera. And as you can tell with the FaceTime camera, even in HD, um, it's still not horrible. I'm, you definitely could use it if you had a, a ring light or something in front of you to light you up a little bit better. Um, I'm in a very poor, poorly lit, um, environment, but, uh, it is usable. I wouldn't say that it's not usable, but it just doesn't look nearly as good as, uh, say using this camera over here. Um, so if I did have some really good lighting on me, this camera is getting to even look that much better. So you can imagine even how much better the Logitech is going to look um, in a decently lit environment. It does a whole lot better. So anyways, I hope that this comparison will help any of you out there who are looking at the difference between using just the built-in camera or going with something like the Logitech C920. And it's not the only one out there that does a great job. There's a lot of other full HD um, web cameras that are USB. Uh, of course, if you want to go a huge step above that, you can always go out and, and pick up a mirrorless camera or a DSLR that you can plug in via USB and use that. Or for that matter, you could even plug uh, directly into a, like a GoPro camera or something like that. And you're going to see the, the video quality is going to jump again uh, over top of just using a USB webcam. But for most of your web meetings and presentations, webinars, uh, online classes, anything like that, the C920 is going to do a pretty great job for you. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, take a moment and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.